yeah Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't bring me down, I be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing clout, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, jump legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna f*** with me a slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here with the Commander Pro. We have a lot of updates for you today and some drama coming out of New York and California. Some big drama if you haven't heard, stay tuned for that. But first, before we get into the drama and all that fun stuff, want to talk about the new Bagot update which just was released not too long ago and includes a racing mode and off-road mode. I've been testing extensively both modes. When I first updated, it bricked my wheel. And it took me a while to figure out how to unbrick, but Goat helped out. Other people, a lot of people helped out, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm not quite sure what the solution was. It was one of two things, using an iPhone or unplugging the main board and using this uh, button sequence where you're holding in the power button and then tapping the uh, cutoff switch, kind of like when you're putting in the transport mode, similar to that, but there's videos on that. I want to talk about the actual effects of the update. First off, it says it gives you more torque. I found it definitely gives you more torque, especially in off-road mode. I really felt it right away hopping on this wheel. You could just instantly feel that torque. And so that's an amazing. And then going up hills, this, the power of this wheel has increased dramatically. Going up hills was effortless. Like I could go up super slow and just not even feel the motor working at all. I really love that torque aspect of the update. The second part of the update is it kind of fixed turning. In racing, or just in riding in general, there's like two types of turn. There's a type of turn where you're like pressing on the pedal to turn and that dips you down. When you're racing and you're hitting these tight turns, you scrape, you scrape, or it creates like a weird like inbounds when you have to come back up, like, and it can create wobbles. And then there's the second type of turn, which is kind of a shifting type of turn, where you're like sh using your legs to kind of turn the wheel. The update has allowed it so that when you're when you're hitting these turns, these tight hairpin turns, it doesn't dip down like this as much. It kind of it kind of tries to keep level for you. And it's amazing feeling. So you can just use more of your shifting muscles, your shift turning, and then going into a turn without losing momentum. The idea with the turns, when you're hitting these turns, these hairpin turns and these tight turns, is not to lose momentum. Because after the turn, you want to get that momentum back into the straight. So I really love that aspect of it as well. The update has been amazing, but it does have some issues. This Commander Pro, at least, I'm not sure. The other wheels, it's starting to grind away my uh, outer plastic because this tire is just a little too tight. And even with the stock tire, I think it'll be too tight. Because of that shifting type of turn, it's creating uh, different angles which are causing this tire to grind. It was never an issue before, but now it's becoming an issue. I may have to switch back to the stock tire, but I still think even with the stock part, stock tire, it's gonna be an issue. To summarize, I really love the update, but it does have some issues. I do not recommend updating if you already enjoy your wheel. If you're off-roading a lot and you need more torque, you may want the update. If you're racing and you're trying to shave off like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds from your time, the update might do it for you. If, if I haven't tried it at super high speeds, if I'm trying this at super high speeds, and I have that grinding problem, it may cause me to create some imbalances and I might fly off the wheel or something crazy like that. So still need to test it at super high speeds, but overall love the update. Um, 
I don't know what Bagode can do to fix it further. It, I think it has to be on my end, finding a tire that's not so, not so big, but then I'm gonna lose a lot of traction and this tire has been great in the street races, so I'll have to figure out what to do there. All right, the second and third part of the show is, there's a lot of drama in New York right now in regards to the U-Stride and Wheezy race. For those that don't know, U-Stride is setting up this blitz sort of race where I think it's kind of like a Pokemon type of thing where you travel to different places and you do like a, a blitz sort of race and, in their town. And then what happened in New York was U-Stride had set up a race with Wheezy and uh, U-Stride drove from New Jersey to New York, you know, at his own cost. And then when he got there, Wheezy, I guess, backed out of the race because he wanted to race for pink slips and Ustride didn't want to race for pink slips. So Wheezy backed out, Ustride found himself in New York with, without a blitz opponent. Nobody else wanted to race him. I don't know if everyone's too scared or what the deal was, why nobody else wanted to race him. So Ustride decides, hey, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play Wheezy like he played me and tell him that uh, I'm willing to race for the pink slips. So he calls up Wheezy or whatever. Wheezy comes back, they shake on it, they shake on it, and then have the race. In the race was an amazing race. I know from like a legal perspective and from like a community perspective, the race may not be good, but from like a futuristic looking video game type of fantasy race, it was amazing. I loved watching it, it was, first off, you should know you're probably not gonna beat a Master Pro. Maybe a V13 could do it. The 22 inch wheel on straight line New York riding is, it's just superior. You don't really want a torquey type of powerhouse wheel on a straight line race, a long straight line race. The Master Pro which is much faster top end speeds. Wheezy not wearing any safety gear was 30 pounds lighter than Ustride, able to zip through. Ustride was able to pass him at one point, but going through the tunnel, the Master Pro just whoosh, hit the nitrous, passed them. And then, since they were racing for pink slips and they had, they had shook on it, of course they're like, hey, where's the EX30? Wheezy wants the EX30. He won it fair and square, risked his life for it. And Ustride reneged on it because in his mind, he was playing Wheezy like he got played. The problem is, there's video of Ustride shaking his hand, shaking Wheezy's hand and agreeing to the pink slip race. So the X30 was also not his wheel to gamble with in the first place. Ustride kept the EX30 and Wheezy was left empty handed. So what are my Zen thoughts on the situation? Ustride is my friend. He was on my racing team. He flew out from New Jersey to California and competed on my team. And the whole time he was all positive vibes. He inspired me to get into the EUC world before I even had an EUC. I was watching his videos. He's inspired probably thousands of people and has made amazing video and amazing content that has raised the bar. And he's really passionate about racing and think racing is gonna bring it to the next level. So what, are my what is my opinion on the whole situation in regards to them racing through the streets of New York, running red lights, such as that? As long as nothing bad happens, I'm okay with it. I enjoy watching this kind of content. It gets me excited. It feels like, it just feels so surreal watching them speed through the streets of New York, racing on electric unicycles. In, in the big picture, maybe it's not gonna be so good for the community, especially if somebody gets hurt. Wheezy wasn't wearing any gear. If he had went down at 60 miles an hour, it had been over for him. That would be really hard to survive after something like that. He was risking his life for that EX30, putting it all on the line. You stride reneging on the deal after he lost is not a good look. He was at 600, or he was at 6,066. He's at 666,000 subs, 6,666,000 6, subs, which is a bad number. And now he's dropped quite a few in subs. So the karma is kind of attacking him there. Plus, I mean, a lot of people, this will probably be remembered for a very long time. It's one of those things that's gonna be hard to get away from and all his future videos. I understand it from his perspective, but he was definitely in the wrong, in my opinion. He should have either, his options were just to walk away from the race. You didn't have to put your EX30 up. I know you invested a lot to come to New York from where you live, and you were really excited about making this video, and I'm glad you did make this video. It sucks that it kind of turned out it 
the way it did, although there is a happy ending, Wheezy is getting an EX30. Alien Rides, I believe, has agreed to send Wheezy an EX30. They feel that integrity and keeping their word is important. So huge shout out to Alien Rides for covering up for Ustride, helping out Ustride, supplying the EX30. I mean, it doesn't help Ustride at all. He's, he's in the doghouse, so to speak, in, in the community. It's, it happens, you know, but this, this was something that all he had to do was keep his word or not make the agreement in the first place. If you're going to make an agreement and shake on it on camera for the whole community to see, there needs to be, there needs to be some uh, accountability and there wasn't any. He just basically reneged and kept the X30 and now Alien Rides is out of their own pocket covering Wheezy the X30. So those are my thoughts and I feel like that's many of your thoughts are as, as well. Many of you, it's really almost a clear cut situation. I feel bad for Ustride, but he kind of dug his own grave, so to speak, because he shook on it on camera. If it had been something like, I mean, if you give your word, even if it's not on camera and you shake off camera, it's still, you should still keep your word, but it's even worse when we can actually see it and be a part of it and be like, wow, man, you shook on it and looked him in the eye and you didn't give him the EX30 when you lost. So it's, it's a tough situation. I feel bad for you, Stride, but not really because like he dug his own grave. Those are my thoughts. I'm curious what you guys' thoughts are about racing through the streets of New York, running red lights, and also what you, Stride, should have done, what he could have done better, how he could redeem himself. Is there anything he'd do to re redeem himself? There should, always, there should always be room for redemption. I mean, we all make mistakes. We're all human. Giving up a $4,000 wheel is not an easy thing when you don't have a lot of money and you were just, all your, your intentions were to create a nice piece of content, racing content and grow the scene, help grow the community, the racing community, and it really backfired. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Feel free to leave. I was about to release the video, but I just found out some new information. I was talking to NY Tarzan on the phone and it turns out the electric unicycle admins deleted and banned almost everybody related to the New York event. I think it's totally like a biased or I don't know what their thought was. No message was sent. No comments were sent by the admins. Nothing, no, no information was given. Nobody knows which admin it was. Marty Back is one of those admins, but I don't think it was him. He doesn't seem like the type that would do something like that. Seems like a free speech kind of guy. But the fact that this was even, that this even happened, that the admins deleted, all almost over 800 comments and this little piece of history is a little bit bad. Uh, the electric, there's a new group now that's like un labeling themselves as unbiased. So I'm definitely a part of that. I don't like that this was deleted. I think what Ustri did wasn't that good, but let's look at what we got as viewers. One, we got a sweet race video. I really like the race video. Yeah, it could be bad. Nothing as bad has come from it yet. So that's positive, right? Nothing bad has come from it. Nobody got hurt, no bans. We got to see a really sweet piece of content. It was an amazing piece of content. Wheezy got his EX30. Ustride didn't lose his EX30. So there are no losers, there are no winners. Ustride lost a few subs, but he'll get them back because he's got a lot of charisma and a lot of positive energy and a big heart. He will overcome this. I've had, I've had situations like this in the past. Maybe I've always tried to keep my word. That's one of the four agreements. Don Miguel Rua is one of his books. Be impeccable with your word. It's one thing we have as men and to other men, we need to try to keep our words. And especially when it's like, I mean, just bottom line, try to always keep your word. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate any comments, thumbs up, anything like that. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the